luckily I have a big mouth and I can squeeze this together a bit. <laughs> carnivore girls creative carnivore kitchen no plants no dairy the next level cooking show carnivore recipes with meat fish seafood eggs gelatin flavored seltzer water and salt from super easy to complicated from quickly done to many hours in the kitchen i always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you the carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits healing effects and is the best elimination diet there are many different ways how to do carnivore I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Hey, 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 welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen, the next level cooking show. I'm Aline, AKA Carnivore Girl. So what am I wearing today? Just this. This is on the pile to donate. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay, so what am I gonna do today? Something I've done before, but not like this, of course. We always gotta bring it to the next level. I have three eggs here and yeah, you guys gotta go. I'm gonna separate them really quickly, my favorite way. I already washed my hands. Um, you could even make it more damp, it's maybe a little bit easier for me to check the okay. Oh, I shouldn't. So, always did it the wrong, almost did it the wrong way. My favorite way, just to Ooh, open that up and with my hands let it go through my fingers so what i want to do today is a um i call it japanese uh fluffy omelet cake or something like that Jap japanese fluffy yeah omelet cake i think i call it that I don't know, I haven't done it for a while. I think I've done it three times. So of course, usually the Japanese um, put in some mirin or, or uh, some sugar or some like other stuff. We're not gonna do that, you know me. Just some salt. And the first time I made it, I just made a plain one. And then the second and the third time I filled it and this time I probably want to fill it too, but this time I want to put meat in between the egg yolk and the egg white. You will see what I mean shortly. Oh, haha, I, uh, I think I saved it. See, I just um, damaged the egg yolk. You don't, let me wash my hands really quickly. So, you don't want, if you just have a tiny drop of egg yolk in the egg whites, you can't whip it well anymore. So you definitely don't want to contaminate your egg whites. I think I saved it. I don't think anything is in here. If so, we will figure it out and I will curse because I have to do everything again and this vi video will get way too long. But no, I'm pretty sure it didn't. So I'm just going to fix this. Okay, so uh, we have egg yolks, egg whites, uh, you know me, some salt in both. Mm, what kind of salt? Let's use Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, here some salt, here some salt. I just realized I forgot to prepare my blending thing. And let's do that right now. Ooh. Here, so yes, 
you've guessed it, we're gonna whip our egg whites. Oh man, sorry, I have to get. Mm, you're in there. So, sorry. So, the egg yolks really easy. We just uh, we just added some salt, and I'm just gonna mix it. So, and they're done. They're ready. them over there not needing this and these we're gonna whip good and how do you know if egg white is whipped well egg white test yeah that's well whipped. okay now let's move over here i have my little pan set up i'm gonna heat it up um i kind of heat it up on medium heat to get my animal fat here um melted oh my gosh me but then i'm gonna lower it i figured out it's better when it's lower so yeah this is not just beef fat otherwise it will be t much more um how do you say oh man the opposite of liquid <laughs> together this also has some chicken fat in it that's why it's Okay, I feel this is like a little bit too much fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, now, very important. Did you see how brown my fat was? Uh, I'm a bit worried. I just realized that right now because we actually want this side to be nice. Uh, and I'm a bit worried that it will get brown. So I'm just so going to soak everything up again it's also a non-stick skillet it should work but so it has some fat everywhere you see but most of it i took away um because i wanted to try to make it nice so i do it really low heat yeah actually really low because usually my egg yolk always got brown and i actually don't want it brown i want it yellow it, it doesn't matter, I mean, it's still... So, we're gonna put in our egg yolk. So. And also, if your pan is uh, too hot, then it will already start to get firm before you can even get it everywhere. So, it's really low heat. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn it up to number two out of six. Well, I have six and then I have a high. So is that seven? I don't know. So you want to get everything in here. Mm, raw egg yolk. One of the best things. Oh, so now usually you put the egg white on top of that. But, as I said, this time I want to make it a little bit different. I have some roast left over. Uh, roast recipe here. It's from that roast recipe here. And, uh, of course, the nicest pieces I already used for another recipe. 
but I think I found this one could be nice, but that's a little thick here. I want to think, hmm, I think that one would work. So I want to put roast in here and then the egg, uh, egg white. But I want really thin pieces because then I still need to be able to cut it. So that's a, I also took the fat away from the roast because uh, the fat is hard to to cut. It's also here. Some, I don't know if I... This is a nice piece, yeah. Let's put that one on. So let's do that one. And maybe... I'm thinking that one. Or do we have something else? Yeah, this is a bit thick. Oh, these are two. That's why it's thick. Ooh, could be a nice one too. How about that one? So, um, okay. Oh, it's starting to get a bit firm. I even lower it again a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna lower it. I'm, I'm like on low now, really low. Okay, I wanna, oh man, it's not gonna be perfect like everywhere, but <laughs> trying to, so, oh, okay, maybe this, uh, can I still move it? Probably not, ooh, oh, I can, haha, I could, uh, uh, how do you say pull it a bit? Cool, okay. Yeah, really low. Now we have the egg white. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it. Usually for recipes with like, you, uh, you, you separate egg whites and egg yolks, you always have way too much egg white, way more egg white than egg yolk. So I wanna press it down a bit so it's, really on it so. last time i i checked my yeah i use my own youtube uh, my own uh also youtube but uh that was a instagram video recipe yeah i used my own recipes i checked it i used all of it but it also always depends on your eggs right how big your eggs are and um, how big the egg yolks are, how much egg white is in it. So, then you want to make it, hope you see, that I can take you a little bit closer. I'm going to make a smooth surface here. And really, I have it on the lowest. Could add more here you want to try to make it even so. I think that looks good after that one yeah don't worry I'm not gonna throw this away I'm just gonna put that in a pet or eat it like this I'm not scared of raw egg white even though those are not the best quality eggs so maybe I should be careful and yeah, usually I let's see. Yeah, so I think I'm like well it does fit, but and it's kinda hard to take off again, so this is actually easier, but it doesn't really it's a bit too big. But it should work. So um I just wanna the egg white to get cooked a bit not too much, not too long. So I would love to turn this up to make it go faster, but I remember from previous uh, times I made this, as I mentioned, then the egg yolk that is on the bottom, that is closest to the heat so source, gets a little bit um, browned. Well, what is, is tasty, is nice, but I wanna try to keep it yellow. So it looks really yellow. So it will take a bit more time, but um, I don't know how much. <laughs> this is still, yeah, you need a little bit. So let's give that some time. So 
So I set the timer to three minutes after I turned it off. And I think as I turned the camera off. So I think that looks good. Yeah, it looks like it's 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 not, uh, you kind of more drying it. Doesn't look like it's, uh, yeah, and if it's still a bit dry, it doesn't matter. Let's just take this. So it was on the very, very lowest. Uh, before I always had it like on number two or a little bit higher. But uh, as I said, I want to try to make it really pretty this time. So we're going to go back over here. So now let's see. If I can... if there was enough fat on the bottom because it oh okay maybe it's still not yeah i don't want to wait anymore let's just take it i'm a bit worried i'm gonna destroy the whole thing now oh nice i didn't now oh how did i oh i think i took it off like this i think I kind of want to try, you know, how did I put the meat on it? I think like, oh well, let's get the knife that cuts a bit better. Let's hope. I'm, I'm always, ah, oh, where's the middle? Kind of here? Uh, I'm, I'm so off, I feel. Sounds like feels like and sounds like I'm through. <laughs> yeah, the egg white is, well, it's warm, so, okay. Maybe I should have left it in there a bit longer, but I'm just not a patient person sometimes. Ooh, I think it worked well. Yeah. So now we're gonna put this on top. What I usually like to do, because the egg white is always, uh, because of the pan that flares out, right? So we have too much egg white on the edge. So um, I usually try to take that away, make it a, bit, a little bit nicer. Yeah, the egg yolk is starting here. There's still more egg white. So, oh yeah, now uh, also should I put some roast also on top of it, as in the middle? I think I'm gonna do that. My, oh man, look how much. <laughs> Usually also get it off after I close it sometimes. So I will see. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think this is a pretty one. Like this. And No, I can't this side. Just put it on. Yeah. So. So, and now we're gonna. I like working with my hands, you know, I feel it better. Ah, now destroy like okay. Okay, again. Destroy all that. I think yeah, you see there is too much egg white still here. I can't even see the yolk. 
Where is the yoke? It's about here. Ah. But my yoke got really nice, stayed very nicely yellow. You see? Not uh, brown like last times. Fill a little bit more in here. There's like a. So, I wanna, you know me, I wanna make it nice. At least for the picture, then you can destroy it. So let's take off. This you sell so much too much, so much too much egg white. It's all that egg white. I don't want you on my picture. Let's put you away. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat that too, of course. Oh, no. Mm. So, can you actually see it? So, piggy. Pretty! Let's take a picture for the so thumbnail, the thumbnail, now we're going to place it like this, oh, da, da. bear with me. Oh, it actually looks pretty. Yeah, I could spend more time to clean it up even more, but <laughs> I think I already bored you enough with me here cleaning up all, up all that stuff uh, here the egg white that I took away so finally uh, time to eat oh my gosh I just realized my lipstick is gonna come off on my food oh well mm. Mm. so let's take a bite of our, yeah, I call it, it's a, like a Japanese omelette, a Japanese fluffy omelette, but I call it the Japanese uh, fluffy omelette cake, because it's like a cake, it looks really cool. So yeah, for the first time I put something in between here, I really like that, I like that idea. So, oh my gosh. Last time I ma made it, oh no, the second time I made it, I made like three, triangles so then i it was a bit easier to eat but oh my gosh let's try <laughs> luckily i have a big mouth and i can squeeze this together a bit mm. that's good I feel like I have no egg white. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Probably, you need to leave it longer on there. Um, or maybe a bit hotter, but then this could get brownish. I should have left it on there a bit longer. Yeah. I just didn't want to. Well, I'm going to destroy this now, like, so I'm going to eat it like this. Let's see, the roast here is, to of course, totally done. Here, and I put in between that as a, in between the yolk and the white, and that one here is not totally done, of course. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's fun to eat. Mm. It's really good. But <laughs> should have left it on longer. Oh god, that is just my hair. Oh. Yeah. 
last time it didn't get destroyed like that but um uh also yeah the pieces i made yeah anyways maybe a little bit long okay good that was it for today really cool be creative um yeah put something else in between our meat or just make the japanese fluffy omelette cake without anything that's also really um tasty yeah hope to see you next time have a good one bye thanks for watching if you try out this recipe please tag me and let me know how you like it subscribe share like comment follow me on instagram at carnivore girl see you next week in my next episode of carnivore girls creative carnivore kitchen no plants no dairy the next level cooking show